I have nice balanced comments, but this process is um, ticking me off. The police union leadership is represented at the negotiating table, is represented by staff, and now is represented in citizens' comments. So our comments are being shortened so that we can have police officers and leadership from the union come and further represent their position. So off the bat, this is kind of throwing me off. My name is Kevin Michael Foster. Meet and confer is broken. It pits police against the city. It makes doing the right thing subject to negotiation for benefits. What would it be like if professors would say, yes, we will grade fairly, but only if we get bonuses for attending faculty meetings? We would all be like the several hundred police officers who make over $100,000 a year in our city. One of the challenges of this process has to do with staffing. Council has chosen negotiators who have spent the better part of their careers working for the Combined Law Enforcement Association of Texas. So this, among our city negotiators, at least three members of the team have spent combined decades working for the self-described largest police union in the state of Texas that is, quote, the state's most powerful advocate for the rights of law enforcement professionals. In other words, the people's negotiators have spent their careers working for the other team. The process, compromised on top of broken, is the source of our current reality, one of the most highly compensated yet least accountable police forces in the country. Given the wage progression schedule that places an escalating burden on the city year by year, regardless of inflation or economy, it would be nice if we got some ironclad accountability in exchange for this fiscal irresponsibility. I see two options. One, vote no. Hit reset, rebuild our systems in more accountable ways that respect our police, respect our citizens, and respect our wallets. Or two, send your team back to the table. Have a little chat with your negotiators to see if they are able to rise to the occasion of representing our city and its people with the same vigor that their comrades on the other side of the table represent their positions. If they are up to the task, fine, send them back for a better deal. Regarding further negotiations, if the union chooses to walk away from one of the sweetest compensation packages in the country, they would do so to the detriment of everyday officers. But if they did, they would also create space for newfound flexibility in the city budget. I will walk away with pride in my council if you vote to end, meet, and confer, and let the contract lapse. We deserve a better process, and good governance demands it. But if our best political opportunity is to send negotiators back to the table with renewed purpose and vigor and commitment to the people, then in that case, too, the city and its voting residents will be reasonably well served. Thank you very much. Robin Schneider.